Final round of 19, more interviews. Actually, for this gentleman, this is round two for you. Yes, sir. All right, now give them an introduction of yourself if they don't know who you are. I am NWH, hashtag Hill DCB. NWH, can you tell them exactly what that acronym means? NWH means nigga with hats. <laughs> and that's what we do. Yep. But not only are you a brother with hats, you're a brother with other kind of products. Can you show them the products that I you do, have? I'm also, as you dubbed me, the Jacob Bejewel of FTC, as you did last year, <laughs> we did. So, as y'all know, I do the bead artist stuff for uh, the community. have been doing that uh, five years, full time for three, though. And... Um, I give everybody what they want, you know, from anime, cartoons, uh, video games, even 8 bits of themselves, logos, sports team logos, whatever. You know, if I can beat it, it can happen. All right. So, so basically, if somebody has a request, you, you, you try your best. I to try fulfill my best to honor and fulfill whatever they want. And I mean, honestly, there have been some crazy, um, crazy requests. requests over the time. Give me an example of a crazy request. Um, let me see. At uh, KIT, this past one in January, okay. in the whole entire time of five years of craft, I knew the request would be coming, but it happened. It had two guys ask me for a pixelated penis. I kid you not. Yeah. I, I, I was shocked at the same time because these, these two guys was drunk and whatever. And they were like, yo, how much would it be to make a pearl penis? I kid you not. Did the pearl be what penis? Was it straight penis or was it mosaic penis? Oh, it was, it was as accurate as we could get it because the missus did it. She put the She did it? Yes, she did it. She didn't say like, she was like, Curtis, I'm not no, doing no. this? She was like, do you know the motto? Have my money ready. Okay. That, that's right. what it went right. to. They had your money ready. They had the money ready. She did it. Um... I got pictures somewhere I can show you at a later time. Shout out to his wife yeah. for putting in she, that she, work. She a trooper for that. I'm just was like. <laughs> That's like taking dick pics to a whole yeah. new level. When they asked me, I was like, you got to talk to her. Because I ain't doing it. Exactly. I was like. She, You're not going to have me working in front of people like, making a dick. Exactly. She's like, <laughs> she's looking around because kids and stuff were around and everything. She's hiding off the table. I'm okay. just like, yeah, right. that happened. Yeah, that's, that's that happened in January. Okay, all right. We, people, we got to take. Sometimes you got to take a step back. Sometimes you got to take a step. Back. But you did it. So yes. good job. Good job. But and congratulations on the um, the the licensing that you have with yeah, Capcom. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, so I, I see you got a couple products here. Can you oh, show yeah. them off for the people? Um, of course, you know, since we had fun around, gotta have the FR logo. And you can hold it up. You know, see it. Got, got, gotta have the FR logo. You right. know, gotta represent. Keep in mind, this is a blue strap. This is, this yeah. is the old strap. Old he doesn't use this anymore. So why don't you use this strap? Anymore? Um, they're just they were cheaper than the. Uh, it was just whatever I can do at a time because I was just you know trying to be economic economical with my business decisions. I was like, oh, I just need cheap straps and. Bam, so found these pop up and I was like, cool, I'll just use these and there have been times when uh, people come back to me like, right. hey, my strap broke and I'm okay. just like, here you go, let me get you a, let me give you another one and I'm just like, I just got upgrade product and so get, a, now, get, a, get a stronger quality So now we got a stronger quality strap right here, got your Sagat, RIP, not in four and not in five anymore. He, a, he, well, you know, he, he, he can come back. back, he can come back. Then we got a Lento, you know, another character, not in five. Good, uh, solid character in four, right. and then uh, got a Pomo. Yeah, this is on Pomo. This, this is Japan, right? Yeah, this, 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 this is the hero of Japan. He's not in Street Fighter, but you know, yeah. a lot of kids love him. Yeah, a lot, lot of kids, kids because you came up to me, he was like, Yo, can you make this? And I was like, Let me just see a picture. And yeah, yeah and, I, I, and, and, and that's what's happening now. Now, right now, we, we're focusing a lot on the lanyards, but what yeah. other things are you like? I, I actually saw some knitted, some yeah. Knitted I got a uh, actually, I do consignment work because I have reached out to a bunch of um, other artists through yeah. Etsy. And I'm like, hey, I'm Dynamic Custom B-Works. I travel across the country, go to tournament to tournament. You know, would you be interested in letting me sell some product for you right. to, you know, draw more people into my booth? And people heard of me. They're like, oh, daddy, I'll get whatever you need. I got you. You yeah. know, so I have uh, one girl, Critter Creator. She makes the knitted uh, Pokeballs that people have been seeing. Also the uh, Jigglypuffs and the Kirbys that you see, the knitted ones. I got a uh, 8-bit buttons. They do the button work okay. for um, for me as well too. Uh, so I got a girl named Zooblees who does uh, plushies, and I have 
one other crochet person who does Amiga Roomies, but she had to fall back because she had a lot of stuff going on with uh, Liz Creation. She'll be back in the fold later on, and I'm also looking for uh, someone else to do some other stuff. I have a lot of ideas. So, so, so if you got a crowd, you need to find this man because definitely yeah. he can move your stuff. Oh, and also I do uh, work with. Uh, I got shout out my man Mike from uh, Clutch It Out. I do. He does T-shirts. He does uh, handcrafted uh, T-shirts, like hand drawn, okay. like the whole calligraphy stuff, okay. stencils right. and everything. I got to shout him out because I do business with him. Uh, we're going to do a new uh, DCB shirt in coming in the next couple of weeks. So okay. be on the lookout for that. And that's uh, from a man, Clutch It Out. You can look out on him, do Essie and stuff. He's a real cool dude. All right. That's all that work. All right. Now, you are an advocate. You're such an advocate of Japan. I love international. Okay, wait, 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 because you got my, you got my, you got my studio decked out here. Like we about to make diplomatic look, statements. Man, I had look. You asked me to come in here. I gotta feel comfortable at home. Don't get me wrong. I love the final round layout and everything, but right. I gotta feel at home. When the heel come through, it's gotta be flags decked out, not American stuff. And, and it's like, yeah, and I was just about to say that you you gotta feel at home. But Curtis, America I'm from is far east home. though. I, I rep far east. Philly don't count as far east. Uh, hey, I ain't from Philly though. <laughs> remember, the, remember the promo code from okay. from Winter Brawl. Philly is free. That was a twenty five percent off right. discount code. <laughs> and you play it into this so very well. Hey, that's what happened. Look, Philly people. Some certain people in Philly was talking smack, and I was like, you know what? I got you guys. Everyone's like, what you gonna do? I was like, just wait and see. Just wait. And then you know, shout out to Big E. Love that man to death, but. You could blame his in-house scene for, for what happened. For what, happened. what occurred. And then uh, when it brought day one, he because, you know, I post up in the group the, uh, the promo code and everything. Mm -hmm. He did not see it because he really don't pay attention to the group. And then uh, day one at Winter Brawl, when they was over in the other, not the main ballroom, the side ballroom where anime goes in. And they saw Spooky it. Spooky played the ad and he was like, oh, hell no. Nah. He's like, Spoo, you gotta take this down off the stream now, man. I'm gonna talk Kurt and all this other stuff. And I'm just like, look, man, talk to your in-house people. Okay. They, they caused that. All right. So, so, so why, I don't know, like, I don't know if it's the hate of, of America or the love of the East. What, what, look, what is, what's going on, This man? country is- Wait, wait, wait. You are American. I am American. D diplomatically speaking, I'm American. Okay, I just want you to do Diplomatically speaking. Yes, okay. Okay, confirm. Continue. But after watching countless times and countless videos and tournaments and all these international players coming in on American soil and just wiping up people left and right, you just get tired and frustrated, so you just... You just don't turn. You just go to turn Kurt, turn Kurt, as we called it. They they labeled me Turn Kurt, not Tony and Colt, Turn Kurt. Turn Kurt. Exactly. <laughs> Turn Kurt. Okay, I, I get you on that. That's first. So you so you sold out the country. There's, come on, man. It's gotta be somebody. Nah, it's gotta I'm, be somebody. Only one person. Who? Actually, there's only two Americans I respect. Sonic Fox, because he and he's from Delaware. I'm from you know, I live okay. in Delaware and everything. Right. And um bass, KI player. Right. One of the best spinal players in the world because MKX and Killer Instinct, only two games I never have to make a post about saying how America's so free in video games and everything. Okay. But everything else, Street Fighter, you know, you know, Japan and yeah. Korea, uh, Singapore, they've been putting hands on Street Fighter players for like years. Then, you know, Marvel was supposed to be America's game. And then you saw what happened to Evo with KBR. KBR just came in there, decimated everyone. Everyone making all sorts of excuses. Like, KBR ain't run into me. I'm like, look, you should have won. That fact and simple. Everyone made excuses. Like, KBR didn't play me. I was like, that's cool. He still won. He still won. <laughs> you, you, that's, that's, in the, that's in the Evo record book that he got that gold Evo stick from 2015 and took that home, and that's your Evo chance. That's true. But okay, now now what you're saying is that you're definitely healed. You're 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 anti. You're, you're pro. I'm not gonna say you're anti-America. I'm gonna say that you're, you're pro Japan, pro Korea, pro outside of the yes. outside of the homeland. Now with that being said, most of your products are sold in the homeland. Yes, they if are. A, if a player approaches you and says, "I want to be sponsored," because like the, the way your business is going, right? At some point, 
Are you going to actually sponsor some players? I am a low... I'm not going to say I'm like a Mad Cats type of sponsor, but okay. I am a sponsor. I do have... And most of my sponsors, like if you see people uh, playing under the DCB tag, it's right. like people that's been in my house. Okay. You know, you know. I'm, I'm more considered as what I would call myself as a clan because I'm from the FPS community. Right. So we just all get together at my crib, play one another, so forth and so on. Or we go down to Xanadu in Maryland and I'm just like, look... You know, you've been in my house, you break bread with me, I let you in, you know, so everyone's just So like, those people can take yeah, the name. Those people Even take though the they're name. not Japanese yes. and they're not Korean. The, yes. Those those have a pass. Yes. Now would you be interested in actually, you know, not not maybe full blown hundred percent sponsoring foreign players, but would you consider I've like, considered it. I mean I have if 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 an opportunity came up where I've met a certain player, I'd be right. like, Yeah, you know, we bring you on board, we can talk logistics and everything. So okay. yeah, it, I'd be open to the idea. Okay. All right, because you know, you know that Madcast contract dried up. Yeah, and they they, they, they float. Oh well, we already that that's a whole another story. Which just, I mean, because you already got the license. Yeah. So you know, maybe this will work out. Yeah. All right. But in closing, um, let's wrap this up. You got any shout outs or anything else you want to say or any more evil you want to yeah. put in? This? Um, just to let you know, I live in Japan, but I don't agree with his thoughts yeah. at all. Just first, <laughs> first and foremost, as, as you see in the back right here, we we are decorated. Yeah, he, with, he he made me sit in the Japan chair. We, we are decorated with champions and players from. Evo champions past, present, and future mm -hmm. right here. You lining yourself up with Bobby the Brain. He, but I want you to know that, that. that's hey, I'm all right with that. <laughs> but you know what? The only time I will support America is for MKX. Because if y'all did not know, DCB is putting in $600 cold hard cash pot bonus for MKX. And the reason being why is because everyone was bitching and complaining that. Larry allowed top eight, uh, Larry allowed DLC to be played in the game, and I'm all right for the chaos. I'm okay with it. So this stack right there is what I'm giving. Oh, no, that's the singles. Hold up. That's the stripper singles. I'm sorry. Now, that stack right there is what's going to MKX. Right there. Right, so My hard-earned, cold, American money. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, that's what's up. All right. Well, thank you for putting more money on the table. Thank you for designing the freshest of freshest designs, and just thank you for being cool. And despite that, I don't agree with you at all. We still cool, and we, we still, still cool. Free. Like I said, you're going to have me up in your house in Japan, exactly. and you're going to show me around and stuff. I'll trust me, because you know I can't wait to go over. You coming? I know you coming pretty soon. I, you know I can't wait to go over there because that's going to be a life changing experience. You can show me around, take me all the good spots. Yeah, we're we're going to move more product. We're going to move a lot more product. So in closing, shout out to my man Scott. Shout out to Larry, Shonda, Nas, all the other, uh, uh, all the other staff uh, for final round, so forth and so on. My in house crew, DCB, Decent, Boo, Nas. All you guys that come be here, my out of hands, my out of state friends with uh, Eli, the Georgia Marvel scene, you know, just worldwide, everyone that's been supporting the whole heel movement and down with it, telling me America will win something at some point or another, and I keep telling them it's not gonna happen. And if it happens, then I, you, you got it on camera right here. I will cut a Sergeant Slaughter promo asking for my country back. If America wins Evo and Capcom Pro Tour, I said it two years ago. I'm gonna say it again. Wait a minute. So you gonna you gonna you gonna get some camo, some fatigue, yes. and a white yes. and will, it's a shame. And I will cut a Sergeant Slaughter promo asking for my country back. I will the heel will go wow. go away. I will start carrying American wow. flags with me and the whole nine. Got it right here on camera. So you gotta you 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 gonna change your ways. If if America can finally win some stuff, I will change my heel ways, but you know Final Round's not over yet. Look, right? we still got time. Look, I told you. The, the, these three countries right here. You know Final Round is not over yet. These three countries right here is gonna win SF five. One of them. You still got Tokido right here. You got infiltration right here. You got Shin right there. Got it Mago. ain't over yet. You also got Mago, who may still be in losers right now, fighting and clawing his way with that camera. You know, 
Arturo, he saying, out. Man, you, you might be making a commercial very soon. Uh, Arturo out. Ah, yeah, we gotta we gotta stop. This, this man talking cash money right now. All right, but thank you very much. Final round nineteen.